For those of you already familiar with the Navicap brand, you probably associate it, and rightly so, with database management tools. But did you know that they also offer a data visualization and dashboarding tool? Or maybe you've never heard of Navicap before. In either case, let me introduce you to Navicat Charts Creator. Hello and welcome to Learn BI Online with me, Adam Finer, helping you do more with data. So Navicat reached out to me recently asking if I'd like to review their Charts Creator product. It's a standalone application, but it's also come built into their database management tools since 2021. I've been using Navicat Premium for over 10 years, but my version predated that, meaning I knew nothing about it. So I just had to check it out and see how it performs against other more well-established BI tools that I work with. Full disclosure, Navicat are kindly sponsoring today's video, but they haven't told me what to say, so this review is completely my own. Let's jump in. On first look, the name Charts Creator really doesn't do this tool justice because it does lots of things that a regular BI tool does. Uh, it connects to lots of different data sources, allows you to manipulate that data, and then aggregate and visualize it in interactive and shareable dashboards. Perhaps Navicat BI as a name might be more appropriate. Let's take a closer look at it. I'll give you my opinion, and you can let me know your thoughts in the comments below. To download and install it, just click the link in the description. Like all of Navicat's products, it's cross-platform, so there are versions for Mac, Windows, and Linux. When you open it up, you'll notice that the user interface is very clean and uncomplicated. We can create a new workspace, open an existing one, or check out their sample workspace. Let's do that first. There are four sample dashboards, so let's go into presentation mode and take a closer look. They actually look pretty good and professional. We've got lots of different visualization types, including waterfall, heat map, tornado, gauges. We can have images, and there are filters to slice up the data. Not bad at all. In this workspace tab, you can see all of the charts that have been created. So we've seen the kinds of dashboards we can produce. What about data sources? Which ones are we able to work with? I'm going to first create a brand new workspace. And you can see that there are three steps to follow, represented by these three buttons up here, creating data source, visualizing the data, and sharing dashboards. Not sure why they haven't made these clickable as well, but anyway, let's hit new data source. Now, as you might assume, given Navicat's principal product offering, you can connect to pretty much all of the database management systems, both standard versions, as well as those on cloud platforms like uh, GCP, AWS, and Azure, among others. There's also a file connector, so you can load anything from basic text files to Microsoft Access files. All in all, that pretty much covers a lot of the data sources a business might be expected to have. One area where Charts Creator differs from other BI tools is that there are no connectors to any third-party API-based or SaaS data sources. That would be a nice-to-have, but to be honest, I really didn't expect there to be any, given the fact that Navicat has historically always built tools for working with relational databases. Let's say I'm neither surprised nor disappointed with the data sources on offer. Like I say, it covers most bases, and a lot of the time, larger companies are using ETL tools to pipe all of their third-party data into data warehouses. Check out this video here for more on that. I have an instance of MySQL on Google Cloud Platform that I've connected to. For this demo, I'm going to work with my hotel database, and we can see all of the tables here. If I drag one onto here, it's visually represented. If I now want to join other tables to it, I just drag them here as well. A join has been found between the two tables, and if I click on it, I can check to see if it's correct. The joining key is correct, but it needs to be a left join instead of an inner join. I must admit, it isn't very obvious how you change that, so I think that could be improved. But in fact, you just click here. I hit apply and refresh data, and that will give us a preview of the result of the generated query output here. 
If I now drag countries on here, no join has been detected. So we need to manually configure it ourselves. I'll drag from one to the other, and this window will appear where I'll just add the relevant fields from both sides. This then will create the join, as we can see. I'll drag a couple of other tables here as well to create our data source. Let's rename it. We've got two options for how we want to connect to the data. We can either have a live connection, so any queries executed will work with the latest data, or we can choose to archive the data, which will extract the data source and bring it into the chart creator file. So the next stage is to start creating charts with our data. Let's hit new chart up here. We can name it and choose which data source it should be created from. And we end up here in the chart builder. Again, the interface is really uncomplicated, which for me at least makes it very easy to understand. We're going to want to drag our fields from the left onto these areas here. Let's say I want to visualize bookings by year and month. In my data, each row is a separate booking, so I'd need to drag the row ID field into the values area here. By default, we have the sum of all of the row IDs in a column chart. First off, we don't want the sum of the IDs, we want the count or distinct count. So I click here, go to aggregate and select one of those. That's correct. Next, we want to break this down by year and month of our arrival date field. So I'll drag that onto the axis area. By default, we're getting year, but clicking here, we can choose month instead as the level. That looks good. So what about this group area here? Well, if I drag a dimension like customer type onto there, we can see that the bookings are broken down by that for each month. If you want these to be stacked, you can change the chart type here. Looking good. But really, I want this to be a line chart instead. That's better. Charts Creator has quite a comprehensive menu of different chart types. Although I would have also have liked to have seen geographic maps. Perhaps that will be added in a future version. So we've built our chart. Now let's see what we've got in terms of chart configuration options here on the right. We can do things like uh, change the chart title, fonts, border and background options. Fairly standard stuff. In the axis tab, we can change axis titles, label rotation and interval and loads of other options everything you'd need really. Probably should have done this already, but now might be a good time to save this workspace file, which I'll do by clicking the disk icon here. We can see that the file type is called ncharts. Right, let's create a couple more charts for our dashboard. Next, I want to see the total number of bookings in a headline figure. I'll drag row ID as before and change the aggregation, then the title. I want a couple more headline figures, so what I can do is click here and duplicate this chart, then swap out the existing metric. We'll of course need to change the title as well and rename the chart up here on the tab. And then I'll quickly repeat and add a third KPI. Finally, I'm going to build a donut chart for reservation status. So I've selected the donut chart type and I'll add that dimension to the group area and again the row ID to the value area. Then rename the title and tab. In terms of configuration options, I want to remove the data values, leaving the percentages only, and then I'll uncheck show label inside slice. Perfect. So I have my charts built and now I want to add them to a dashboard. I'll hit the new dashboard button here to do that. Let's give it a name. Again, as you can see, this is a very clean and unfussy UI. We've essentially got a blank page that we can change the dimensions of here, uh, the background here to a color or an image fill. And then at the top here, we can choose to add charts, text, images, and shapes. I'm gonna add my charts. One thing I like is that you can add multiple charts at the same time. Admittedly, they could be arranged better when added, but no big deal. It only takes a second to rearrange them. Voila. Let's add a title to this dashboard. 
I'll first need to make space up here. So I'll control or command A to select everything and move it down and add text from here. One thing that's missing is interactivity, but you can add filters by adding filter controls, which in Charts Creator are a chart type. So I'll add a new chart and select control here. I'm going to use country as a filter, but I don't want it to appear as a long list. So I'll go to the data tab and choose combo instead. OK, so there's my basic dashboard I've put together in just a few minutes. It really is very simple to do. So how do we go about sharing our dashboard? Well, there's a separate tool called Charts Viewer, which stakeholders can download and install. It will allow them to access and interact with the data and dashboards shared with them in the end charts format. Again, it's cross-platform, so you don't have to worry about compatibility issues. All right, let's move on to price. How much does all of this cost? Well, as I explained earlier, Charts Creator comes included with Navicat's database management tools. But as a standalone product, there are two levels of pricing, enterprise and non-commercial. And then, as with their other products, you can either pay monthly, yearly, or buy a perpetual license. For what you get, I think that represents pretty good value. There is a separate cost for Charts Viewer as well, which is only $3 per month or just $49 for a perpetual enterprise license. So what are my overall thoughts of Navicat Charts Creator? Well, I actually really like it. With its clean and simple to use interface, it's the kind of tool that anyone could get to grips with in less than an hour or so. It's got solid data visualization and charting capabilities. It can't compete with a lot of BI tools, but then that's not what Chart Creator claims to be. It is, as it says on the tin, a tool for creating charts, and that's a job it does really well. If you want to produce some simple but attractive dashboards to monitor your data, then you can't really go wrong with Charts Creator, especially if you're already using Navicat's other database management tools then this makes for a really great complementary tool to sit on top of your databases. A big thank you again to Navicat for supporting the channel by sponsoring this video. If you want to check out all of their product range, just use the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and until the next time, bye.